And somebody asked me to talk about levels. Uh, so I'll, I'll talk about levels. Before I talk about levels, we should talk about why we want to talk about levels. Well, okay. Uh, we want to talk about levels because that's how I accent. I use levels to uh, accent with. Okay. So, but what is a level? Okay. A level is is really just a stick position. It's a, it's a stick height. A level is the height between the drum and the stick. And there's a couple of different levels that we define. You know, it's, it's analog. There's levels in between every, between your highest position and your lowest position, which is touching the drum and the highest turn there is to make, which is your full, full position. So that's that's your full level. Because that's, as, that's as high as you can move your wrist without using some of your arm. So that's the full level. But if I throw it from half that position, then it's, it's the half. Half level, of course, I got the quarter level. We can break it up the quarters, halves, and fulls just for practicing purposes. But so, why do we want to do that? Why do we want to break them into levels when we practice? Uh, because, uh, well, okay, so what happens when we play full? I get a certain sound. Great, I can play singles full stroke. Great. But if I play half stroke, then I get another sound. Same tempo. Same single stroke roll, but I get a different sound. So the difference is, is that one's louder than the other. So the reason for the levels is to change your dynamic from softer to louder or louder to softer. So well, why do we want to talk about that? Well, what does that have to do with us? Well, because you know, we have a great capacity for dynamics, and um, that creates what, what we call an accent. When we go from soft to loud to soft, uh, those are the, uh, the uh, loud notes are accented notes. So I have two different sounds I'm working with. You know, just for the purpose of practicing, we'll say a full level. And a half level. So if I mix them, you're going you're gonna to say, well, he's doing quarter note accents and playing eighth notes. No, ghost with his left hand. No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not I'm playing ghost notes if you want to call them ghost notes. I'm just playing regular single stroke sample level instead of full level. That's crazy. I can do that. I can do it with the other hand, too. change the level, I change the uh, volume, and I create an accent. Yeah, we, we all know that. I mean, when we want to play crescendo, we can go e very easily up and down. It's gradual. I mean, uh, you know, to practice, it's easy to go through all the supposed levels. You know, you're going through the analog of the levels, not the digital uh, quarter, half, uh, full, which is like a digital viewpoint very wide, it's not very sample, only three samples out of the whole arc. You know, anyway, uh, so, but how do we get, so, so how, but when I'm, when I'm, I'm, you're not hearing the middle levels, you're hearing just the height, and so how did I get up and down? I mean, how do I get up there and how do I get back down uh, comfortably so that I can, I can hit the accent and then come back down again? So now we have to, up to now, I've been talking about levels, but there's another way to look at it too. The kind of, the kind of stroke I'm, I'm making is a is a full stroke, but it's also free. It's free to it's free to come back to where I started from. It's free to come back. That's a free stroke, and that's a free full stroke. But that's there's another kind of stroke I can play at the at the at the full level. I can play a control stroke. And the, di and the difference in definition between free stroke and control stroke is that the free stroke is free to return, and the control stroke is not free to return. <laughs> it only, it, you know, well, uh, uh, that, that, this is the down control stroke. I'm going, 
from an up position, a high position to a low position. So I'm going down in position. So I'm going uh, full uh, instead of free, down control. And that's how I get down. So now I can place off. And after I hit my accent, I can get back down and play my so-called taps. That's great. So there's, a, there's, the, there's the free stroke at the full level, and there's a control stroke at the full level. And then there's the free stroke at the half level. But how do I get up to the accent? But there must be a control stroke at the half level to get back up there. Or the, an upstroke. And all the upstroke is, is I start here, and it's not free to return. It's actually freer than a free, because it, it's free to come back even higher. And I even have, even if I have to, I will assist it to come back so that I will get in position to play the louder note. So we have the free, and then we have the down to get ready to play the soft. And then when we want to get ready to play a loud, we have the up to play the loud. Now, if I play a series of accents after I've explained this, you'll see that. Uh, for instance, a triple accent. I play it fast enough so that you can see I got two levels happening. You can see, you can see a half stroke level and the beats and the sticks. So you can see the half stroke level, and you can see the full uh, the full stroke, uh, almost full stroke. It doesn't have to be a full stroke. Doesn't have to be a half stroke. This is an accent too, and I'm going up and down too in the level. And you can see the difference in the level. I mean, it's all relative. I can play the strokes up here and the accents here, or I can play the accents up here and play the strokes down here, or anywhere in between. So the levels are really for the purposes of practicing and getting, uh, and, and getting used to coming up and going down and hitting the same level when you go up that you hit last time when you went up, but hitting the same level when you go down. Because if you change your levels, you're not playing the same level in both hands, and you're not playing the same level for the taps all the time, you'll get different sounding taps. You won't get even taps. And the accents will have different various uh, uh, emphasis if, you if the levels are not the same on the accents. So the way to get it clean use the same accent level and the same tap level unless you want to change the dynamic to the mezzo or piano or forte it's relative position to the levels you want to use but you have to learn how to get in and out so, so here's what it looks like slow that this triplet accent now well, I'm going to play an accent with my right hand so I have to I have to be in full stroke position Right? And I'm going to play a tap with my left hand next, so I have to be in half-throw position to be ready for the tap. However, when I, when I do play that accent, I want to stay down, so it's going to be a full down. Boom. So the first note of the triplet. And then the tap is not really a, a tap. It's going to be an upstroke. That half is going to be a half upstroke, because I want to get ready for the next accent. Up. And now I'm ready for the tap down here. Tap. And then I'm ready for the downstroke here, which is going to be down. So I'm going to tap next on the left, and this is going to tap the last of the triplet and get ready for the next downbeat. Down. 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 And I practice this very slowly for very long periods of time for, during the day. <laughs> and for very long periods of time, in the years of my life. At this, you know, I mean, I don't do it like this anymore because I've done enough years of doing it like this so I can do it other ways now. Like I can add other functionality to the level. But this is basically how I do my accents by changing my levels. Be them at full and half or half and quarters or whatever you want to talk, call them. I'm not pressing muscles to get the accent, I'm just changing my level and throwing a normal stroke from that level and getting a higher sound or a lower sound or a louder sound or a softer sound depending on the level. And that's why the levels are important. 
That's a pound of look. Down. Wherever I want to. But see, the upshot is going to be in a different place. 